Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalker. Solve for the value of n in the following equation. The limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over x multiplied by the natural log of the following fraction. The numerator is equal to e to the power of x plus e to the power of 2x plus e to the power of 3x and so on until the final term of e to the power of n multiplied by x. The denominator is equal to n. The entire limit is equal to 9. What value of n satisfies this equation? Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. I had a lot of fun solving this problem because it involves so many concepts. To get started, we will rewrite the fraction of the natural log in terms of an inline fraction. We will then take the natural log as the numerator and x as the denominator. We now have the limit of a quotient. To see this limit, we will separately analyze the numerator and the denominator. We will then look at the behavior of each of these functions as x approaches 0. To do that, we'll directly substitute x is equal to 0. The denominator becomes 0. We will now simplify the numerator. n multiplied by 0 is equal to 0. Then e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. There are exactly n terms, so this sum is equal to n. We then have n divided by n, which is equal to 1. The natural log of 1 is then equal to 0. So the function in the numerator approaches 0 as x goes to 0, and the function in the denominator also approaches 0 as x goes to 0. So we have 0 over 0, which is an indeterminate form. Therefore, to calculate this limit, we will use L'Hopital's rule. To do that, we'll take separately the derivative of the function in the numerator and the derivative of the function in the denominator. The derivative of x is equal to 1. We can then just simplify this. Instead of having a fraction, I'll just make this one term vanish. So we now want the derivative of this natural log function. To do that, let me just compress this argument. From here, we will use the quotient rule of the natural logarithm to get, we have the natural log of the sum of these exponentials minus the natural log of n. We can then take the derivative of each of these separately. Now the derivative with respect to x of the natural log of n is equal to zero. So this term again will vanish. We now want to take the derivative of the natural log of something, so we'll use the chain rule. It'll be equal to du over u. So we have the derivative of the argument all over the argument. We can then take the derivative of each of these exponential functions. The derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the power of x. The derivative with respect to x of e to the power of 2x is equal to 2 times e to the power of 2x. And the final term, derivative of e to the power of n multiplied by x with respect to x is equal to n multiplied by e to the power of n times x. From here, we will consider the behavior of each of these functions as x goes to 0. We'll directly substitute in. Then e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Then n multiplied by 1 is equal to n. We then want to calculate the sum in the numerator. This is the sum of the numbers from 1 to n, which is a well-known formula for triangular numbers. Tn is equal to n multiplied by the quantity n plus 1 all over 2. We'll substitute that in. The denominator will have exactly n terms, each term equal to 1, so this sum will be equal to n. We then want to simplify this. Now the n terms will cancel. So we have n plus 1 all over 2, and that's equal to 9. From here, we just need to solve for n. 
we multiplied both sides of the equation by 2. 2 multiplied by 9 is equal to 18. We then subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. So n is equal to 18 minus 1, which is equal to 17. And that's the answer. What a beautiful problem involving limits. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.